I am the mother of Paul, who is the boy in the car crash video. Paul's friend was recording it on a um, camera on his head and um, posted it onto Instagram and it went viral within minutes and before I'd even got a phone call that he'd been hit by a car, I was shown it on Instagram by my other son. There was a group of children who were cycling down the road coming down towards uh, this junction here and uh, they cycled in front of a car and one of the um, children that was on the bike decided to swerve in front of the car. Um, he didn't swerve soon enough, which caused him to be knocked off the bike by the car. I was thinking, I just need to see him. I need to know that he's okay. I need to cuddle him and I need to just love him and make him better. And then when he walked through the door and looked at me, I just thought, he was so stupid. I can't, I just genuinely can't believe how stupid you are. He lost his granddad in a car accident and he lost his niece in a car accident. So I thought that his road safety was a lot better. This is not a game you want to play. You versus a car, you are not going to come off best. Your skull is like an eggshell which is just going to break. And for me, it just, it doesn't make sense. He was so lucky to have come out of that with just a severe bruising. The, and he was only lucky because the driver had slowed down so much. The driver was going probably at like five, less than five miles an hour at the time. He was vigilant, he was watching the road. If the driver had turned the other way, he would have hit, hit a wall. He could have killed anyone in that car. There was a baby in that car. There was a pregnant lady in that car. Potentially, if they'd have swerved out the way to get out of the way of the cyclist, if they'd had a chance, then potentially they could have all been injured. She could have gone into early labour. You're affecting other people by your actions and you need to think about it. I would say please. Think, if you're not even thinking about yourself, think about who's in that car. That baby, she was newly pregnant, that baby could have died from the shock that she had of someone hitting her car. In the last two years, there's been a 4% rise in cyclists that have been injured, so that's 2% each year. That is only going to rise due to the amount of cars that are on the road and with this ridiculous game that's being played by children. You really need to think about it and think whether this is the right thing for you to do.